folks in Buffalo are not as lucky as we are. People there uh, in New York are dealing with yet another punishing round of snow. About six feet has fallen so far, and it is not done yet. Brian Nobles joins us now live in Buffalo, where that hasn't even melted at all, Ryan. <laughs> no, nothing has melted yet, Atre. It is very cold here, and the snow continues to fall. Uh, the uh, Right now, we're at around the 6 to 7 feet mark, depending on where you are in different parts of Buffalo. Uh, officials warning folks to still stay off the roads because this storm is not done yet. No relief in sight for western New York, where up to 3 feet of snow is expected. That's on top of the more than six feet that has already fallen since Tuesday. A storm of unprecedented proportions. <clears throat> We're prepared, but the storm is, is gigantic uh, and persistent. Travel bans are in place, and New York Governor Andrew Cuomo declared a state of emergency Tuesday in the overwhelmed region. Buffalo is no stranger to snow, and they can handle snow. Uh, but they, this is probably going to break all records for snowfall in Buffalo, which is saying something. Heavy equipment rolled all night, clearing roads and also busting local snow budgets. May uh, have more snowfall this week than the rest of the whole winter combined. So entire budgets could be spent during this one week episode that ordinarily would spend this over a whole winter. Officials want people to stay in their homes until the storm passes but many of them may not have a choice. We're closed in here, it's not an open area where you can just fling the snow anywhere. You got houses and uh, snow blowers only go so high with the snow, so it's, you're kind of restricted, but you just do what you have to do. James Grimaldi was trapped inside his West Seneca home, so he used an aerial drone to capture what the snow left behind. Warmer temperatures are expected this weekend, possibly causing flooding because all of that melting snow has to go somewhere. And this historic storm has put the NFL football game that is scheduled for Sunday here in Buffalo in doubt. Initially, it looked like the Bills were going to find a way to play against the Jets this weekend. They're actually calling for people to come to Ralph Wilson Stadium and help shovel out 220,000 tons of snow from the stadium. But during a press conference today, New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo said that he thought it would be impractical for the team to play. And the Erie County executive also said that he could not guarantee that the county could provide resources to keep everyone safe. Ultimately, the final decision will be up to the NFL. So Autry will will see what they finally decide. And if they were to postpone an NFL game, that would be one major indication of just how big this storm really is. Well, yeah, safety comes first, though, Ryan. They can always reschedule it. Thanks, Ryan Nobles. Live for us in Buffalo. Stay warm.